Hey, it's Andrew Eborn here on a very blustery World Kindness Day, and I'm delighted that the winner of World Kindness has today been revealed. Subtle clue with the statue. It's my brilliant mate, Seb Hall. Well, congratulations, Sebby. We met at Christmas time uh, in a TV studio, not a million miles away from here, and it was the highlight of my year. And when your mum, Ashley, came and said to me, you've won this amazing award, I rushed down here to see you. How does it feel? Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. There you go. I think it feels pretty good. Now, Mum, tell me about this award. How did you first hear about it and how did Sebi get involved? Well, we had a phone call about six weeks ago, something like that, to say that Sebi had won the UK's Kindest yes. Hero Award, which was a total surprise. And um, Sebi apparently had been nominated by lots and lots of people. And for all his random acts of kindness he's been doing for the last three years, he's won this amazing award. And we just want to say thank you to Kinds, yes, thank you, Kinds. Um, you know, for highlighting the power of kindness. What is kindness, Sevi? It's, 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 it's a superpower. And what does he stand like? A superhero. Oh, we lo I love the cape as well, which yeah. you've got on there as well. Yeah, and I think just, I was saying earlier, um, his patron, Eddie's been down earlier. Yeah, look at me, not the uh, camera. Um, Yes, how, did, how was it seeing the statue today? Like, what was, what was your reaction honey, when you saw it? What did you think, Seb, when you saw the statue? It was amazing, wasn't it? It was fantastic. Yeah, do you think it looks like you? I think you're better looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you I, are I'd agree with you. I'd agree with you. Um, obviously, you've done all these amazing kind acts over the, however long you've done the last few years. What, what's been your favourite one, do you think, you've done? Is there one that kind of sticks out in your brain? One you like? Yeah, because um, Sebi wanted to give, uh, make Ukrainian orphans, children, make them happy, uh, and go to Ukraine. But when they came over to Scotland as refugees, he went up to meet them and he spent a day with them. And even though they could. And thank you to you, Andrew, because people like you help people like Sebi have a voice. And just because sometimes you ha may not be able to find the words, it doesn't mean to say you haven't got something to say. And that's what Sebi's trying to raise money for to help. Um, prevent isolation in disabled and disadvantaged people. So it's just lovely that he's got this and hopefully be able to help more people the more people hear about him. Oh, no, I think it's absolutely, you're such an inspirational character. I so was reduced to tears at Christmas time. It was like, now talk to me about some of these acts of courage. Your dad's here as well, who I hadn't met until today. Uh, Craig, isn't it? Always in the background. Tell me about uh, uh, the, the random acts of kindness. You can hold the mic, it's enormous. Look you hold well, look at that, thank you, yes. Well, Sebi's acts of kindness, are, they're, they're many, many, but some of them that spring to mind are, um, Pumpkins. Everybody throws pumpkins out at the end of end of Halloween, and Sebi collected hundreds and hundreds of pumpkins and took them to the food bank and made them into dinner for hundreds of people, didn't you, Seb? So he fed homeless people with something that people would have normally discarded. Um, collecting clothing that had been donated locally, Seb. Lots of clothes given to homeless people, and and. As we're here on World Kindness Day with a brilliant. Piccadilly whip and a, a random act of kindness. One act of kindness deserves another. They gave me one of these, and look what we got! Yeah. Only the crumbless, flakiest chocolate. It's gotta be good. Hurrah! Thank you. Thank Congratulations, Sebi. Good stuff.